Embattled New York Congressman George Santos is now under arrest and charged. He turned himself into federal authorities on Long Island a little while ago this morning. And he is, uh, he was set to appear in federal court on those criminal charges that included wire fraud, money laundering, and theft of public funds. National correspondent Mara Sirianni reports on what lies ahead for Santos. Good morning, Mara. Yeah, guys, good morning. So we knew that these charges would likely stem from um, his campaign fina finances and the, the use of those. That's something that, of course, investigators have really um, been looking into. The congressman allegedly um, using campaign contributions to line his own pocket. So what we're learning, um, the unsealed 13 count indictment revealing Santos has been charged with seven counts of wire fraud, three counts of money laundering, one count of theft of public funds, and two counts of making materially false statements to the House of Representatives. You see all of that right there. Now, he was charged by federal prosecutors in the Eastern District of New York. A release uh, from the Justice Department reads, Santos is charged with relying on, quote, repeated dishonesty and deception to ascend the halls of Congress and enrich himself, end quote. So, of course, he will now be forced to face the consequences. This news comes on the heels of calls by uh, both Democrats and those in his own party to resign. He actually, um, you know, said he would do the opposite. He announced a run for re-election. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy reacting, if we have um, that quote moments ago, the Associated Press reporting, McCarthy said, quote, I think in America you're innocent until proven guilty. Now, also, you know, more reaction right as this news broke. We got immediate reaction from Democratic Congresswoman Becca Balint. Let's play uh, that soundbite if we have it. He should have resigned within the first week of taking office. We knew uh, what he was being um, accused of, and it was very serious at that time. It shouldn't have taken this long uh, for us to hear more cries for him to step down. Absolutely. And he should not be on the floor of the House casting votes for his constituents back home. A lot of lawmakers kind of coming forward and, and feel that way. So again, Congressman Santos arrested this morning on some very serious uh, federal criminal charges. The guy's expected to be arraigned sometime this afternoon. Back to you. Mara, thank you uh, for that update, a story that will uh, continue to be um, something we will follow throughout the rest of the day as uh, we see what, what happens there. Thank you.